All right. On today's test, it's going to be protein test. Now, protein is a food substance that we, we find in plants and animals. Now, scientists can use chemicals to test for the presence of this food substance. Now, to test for protein, you need a reagent or a chemical known as Melon's reagent. There are other reagents, but today we are using Melon's reagent. So, Melon's reagent is here. We have our egg here. We are going to use the egg white or the egg album and not the yolk. Then we have our egg white being in this test tube. And we have our beaker here that supports the test tube. Now you take your dropper. This is the dropper. Then you take sample of the melons reagent into the egg white as I am putting in. Now you, you just get a drop. Then when you get a drop, you then shake it vigorously as I'm shaking it. Then when shaking it, you can see that a white precipitate, whatever you see is a white precipitate. Now this is the color that you are going to observe whenever you add melons reagent to a food containing protein. Now this is one example of the food test that BEC is requiring. Glucose test, Benedict solution test, Sudan tray test, and fat and oil test. So this is protein test with melons reagent. Now, as you can see, the egg has turned white. Now, the color that you observe is known as white precipitate. So this is the test for protein. Hi. Today, we are going to have one test of a food substance which called starch. Now, before we can do the test, there are some other reagents that we need or chemical, which is an iodine solution. We have our dropper here. This is bread. This is gary. This is biscuit. And this is yam. So we are going to add drops of the iodine solution to all the food substances and observe the color change. If the color shows blue-black, it tells you that all the food that shows blue-black has starch in them. So now let's see, I first drop it on the bread. Now, when it came on the bread or you get contact with the bread, you saw blue-black. Let us also go with the gari. The gari also showed the same blue-black. Now let us go with the biscuits and see the biscuit also went blue black let us go with the yam now the yam also tested blue black now this is an indication that all the food that i tested with the iodine has starch now in bc upcoming question this is what they will ask you which reagent is used to test for starch the answer is iodine solution and another question too also can be asked in this way when iodine comes in contact with any food containing the starch, what will be the observation? The observation is blue-black. So with starch, iodine solution turns blue-black with starch. So that is a food test. So the test shows 